Hey, Saba. Kevin from uh, Overtime Heroics here. How are you doing? Good. How about you? Doing well. Um, as you know, uh, there's a great tragedy that struck uh, Beirut in Le uh, Lebanon. Uh, you are you're, uh, from, you know, of Lebanon ancestry. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, on the uh, current uh, situation right now? Uh, it's crazy, man, um, what's been going on. But um, for the people that were affected by it, my prayers go out to everyone out there. Um, I actually did have an aunt that her home got damaged pretty bad. So I'm just glad everyone's um, safe on my family's end. So it's about it. So with this fight coming up, uh, what do you plan on doing uh, with the Curtis Moody? You know, he has a wrestling heavy style. Um, do you plan on, you know, negating his wrestling and, you know, making him stand up with you or are, are you going to, you know, welcome him to the ground? Uh, it's a fifth fight, man. I'm going into fight. So I'm going to go in there and fight my fight wherever I want to take it. I can take it. So if I want to strike with this guy, if I want to take him down, if I want to, I can do whatever I decide to do. So it all come down to once that cage door closes. All right, last question. Uh, you know, with uh, Bellator, uh, you know, being in this pandemic situation, do you plan your? Do you see yourself fighting very soon, or do you plan on taking some time off before choosing, uh, picking your next fight? Uh, I hope to stay active. So if I uh, hopefully no serious injuries, or you know, hopefully I come out healthy from this fight, and I would like to get back into it. So we'll see. We'll see what Bellator has in store for me. All right, Sabah, thank you so much, and good luck on your fight uh, this Friday. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sabah, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your training camp and how any adjustments you had to make due to the uh, COVID pandemic? I didn't really have to make any adjustments. Um, gym was open. So, uh, yeah, got all the training in I needed to get in. So I'm prepared and ready to go. Great. Our next question comes from the line of Gareth Davies. Good evening, Sabah from London. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, just going back over the, um, the, the question that the other chat posed to you about the, the explosion in, in Beirut. Um, does things do things like that affect you on a, in a kind of inspiring way as well that you want to go out there and win and then give a message and you know talk out about you know that you're doing this to make people more entertained or to or that, 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 that we're all in a struggle we're all in a massive global struggle not to diminish what happened I mean it was extraordinarily frightening to watch that wasn't it and I think it's about the 12th one in the last 70 years that have happened with ammonium nitrate um but do you you know you're a brilliant guy do you have a wider message there aren't many fighters from the Middle East or from 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 the, the Near East and you know sadder word yourself I often find that you guys have a deeper meaning because of what's going on in, in your homeland you know yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd love, you know, to get on a mic and after I get this W and, and say some words, um, it's a tragedy what happened, of course, and I would love to dedicate this W to everyone who, uh, you know, went through this tragedy. So uh, it sucks, but of course, uh, there's always things you're going to go through in life and you always just got to get back on your feet and move forward. So this this fight will definitely be dedicated to my family in Lebanon and everyone over there who was affected by it. Thank you for that. Lovely words. Thank you. Um, uh, you, you mentioned that you did kind of normal things in lockdown, but I suspect you may have learned things about yourself because we've all had to kind of be informed, whether it's Black Lives Matters or what COVID is or be just think a little bit more maybe that the world's changed, like the swans returned to the Venice Canal, the the skies didn't have aeroplanes, You won't, it won't have been lost on you, all fighters have great radars. Things yeah. things have changed during COVID, haven't they? You know? Yeah, definitely. What did you learn, what did you learn about yourself? What are your observations during it? Um, you know, I, I just... I think this COVID thing's a fluke a little bit, you know. I think it uh, 
I don't know. It could definitely affect some people, but with a 99.7 survival rate, I'm not too worried about it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, those are my well, thoughts. That's, the, yeah, that's the answer from the sleek shake. You're a fighter. So, you know, you, you know, no, I, don't. I mean, I, I, maybe I have a different outlook on things, but you know, it's, it's the facts. It's not really, I mean, take a look at it. I mean, I don't know. India has three point five what was it billion but their their population is way more than ours and their death rate is significantly lower than the u.s and uh i mean i don't know i i couldn't tell you what's going on over here um but it would be nice to hear the truth and you know to put this bullshit behind us so people can get back to their normal everyday lives you know because uh, there's small businesses by my house that are closing down because they can't stay open and or whatever the reason is and they can't you know afford to keep their business open. So they're shutting down and it's sad to see, you know, and like people, you know, people who aren't working, not every, not everyone gets to go to work and make it and make some money to put some food on the table and whatnot. So there's a lot of people out there that are definitely struggling. And, uh, I think it's just wrong. You know, things just need to definitely get back to normal. I appreciate you talking about global issues with me 48 hours before before you punch someone in the face and they punch you in the face. I really do appreciate it because it's not the biggest thing on your mind. Have a great night on Friday night. I wish I was there. Go do it, Sleek Shake. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, brother. Thank you. Our last question comes from Jared Mondavi. Hey, Sabah, thanks for the time. How do you uh, you there? All right, go ahead. Your line is live. Hey, Saba. Thanks for the time, man. Bro. Uh, you know, you're one of five Bellator fighters on this card training out of South Florida. Can you speak on the talent that you have, not only in your gym, but really all over South Florida today in general? Yeah, South Florida, there's a lot of high level, you know, uh, fighters on there. Um, I'm just happy to be a part of one of the best gym in the world. You know, American top team has been the best gym in the world. Um, my opinion since I've been there, but, um, uh, yeah, it's great. I love it. Got great coaches, uh, great teammates. So I'm just happy to be where I'm at. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Sabah. I appreciate your time.